You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. The boys are back in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you, I, I want, I want to hear that song tonight. It, the, it's called "The Bus Boys" are the name of the band. Does that song make you cry? No. Hello. Gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on, man? Dude, not a lot. How are you guys doing? Oh, pretty good, man. We're waiting for you to call us. Good, dude, dude, sorry I didn't call you. I forgot right. I had to meet up with a buddy of mine uh, who just came into town from Wisconsin. Oh. So I'm actually at a, I just stepped out of a restaurant. I completely <laughs> forgot. I apologize. Oh, that's all right. How many tables <laughs> did you have tonight? <laughs> I figure we'll just, we'll just touch bases real quick and talk about um, the whole thing, and then we'll let you get back there. How many tables did you have tonight? Dude, yeah, yeah. Dude, we've got like two tables in here. It's a party. There's lots of bitches with big tits. It's That's, great. <laughs> no, I meant, I meant like, I always make a joke that all actors are also waiters, so I was wondering how many tables you were assigned. <laughs> oh, yeah, I reserved the entire restaurant just for myself. No, I meant, like, 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 work I meant like, how many tables were you assigned to work? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, none, none, not working tonight. Not working tonight. <laughs> I didn't know, like, guys. I know that's you, a good as, joke. Though. I actually just got that. I don't know if you caught that. I just understood what you were saying. <laughs> well, I figured, you know, what, as, as a as a writer, director, actor, you carry around a script and hand it to people. It's like, like, will be people come in and go to the bathroom? Like, here, read the script. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to LA. Well, how are you I've guys seen doing? It. How's your How's your night treating you? Oh, pretty good. We just started. We started talking about the Warriors. So we were just running down um, some of the actors that were in that movie and just briefing each other about it. And we're in our briefs, too. <laughs> and you're in your briefs. That's, That's even right. better. Good. So, dude, uh, Dominic, I wanted to thank you for your support on uh, Biker Warrior Babe oh, and no Zombie Babies from Hell, man. Thank you for the donation. Anytime, man. Anything we could do to help make that, take you guys over to get that get that done, man. Yeah. Dude, well, I mean, I'll tell you this. I don't know mm-hmm. if you've been following it at all, but uh, our Indiegogo campaign in less than 48 hours has generated 21% mm-hmm. of our entire goal. That's pretty damn good in two days. You know, that's, think, that's damn good. Think if you get that <laughs> that's d- damn good. For- so what happens if it goes over? Is it just you guys just keep keep that money to still come to you guys? Well, this is, this is what's actually awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, Kickstarter.com and Indiegogo are two completely separate companies. Yeah. Kickstarter... You start a, a fundraising campaign with them, and you like no matter what, you have to meet your goal before mm-hmm. you get any money. Yeah. Um, the cool thing with Indiegogo is you have the option to choose, um, like if you don't hit your goal, then you still get all the money, but mm-hmm. Indiegogo will take nine percent of what you made. Oh, that's not bad. And they'll take that. But if you make your goal, they only take four percent. Oh wow! So it's like a win-win for both the filmmaker and the company Indiegogo. Like so that's that. what we're doing. Sounds good. I think you guys are going to pull that off. No problem. So, I mean, so far, things are looking good, man. Yeah. I mean, when I broke down the math, um, for the, the minimum to give uh, to the project is $25. Mm-hmm. And if 400 people give $25, then we make the goal. And I think we've had 29 backers so far. Mm-hmm. And we've had, a t- like, we've had a couple 500 gifts. So we've got death scenes to write. Um, we've got some 150s, 100s, 200s. Like there's there's a lot of very generous people who really want to see this film made and distributed nationwide. Wait, how did you get Dom to donate twenty five dollars? <laughs> I'm calling bullshit on this. <laughs> he did. He did. did. Dom totally gave. 20, I believe uh, 25 in it. Bucks. That was really oh, cool. Shit, he's dead. I believe in it. Hey, that uh, twenty five bucks gets you. Like promotional materials, like you get a poster, you get sticker, you get a button, um, and you also get you get a, a physical DVD copy of the film itself. It's right there. So we're not, I'm not, I'm not huh? messing around with an electronic copy or anything. It's yeah. a physical copy of the DVD. Gotcha. So, did, so yeah, we're, so, we're definitely going to help you. So Dom got yep. that. <laughs> the first edition too, which will nice. be nice. So, so. If we can work out a, a way where we can get five hundred dollars, can can we kind of like um, squeeze um, all three of us into a death scene? The way I've been positioning the five hundred dollars is there's four more 
five hundred dollars left, mm -hmm. uh, five hundred dollars slots. Um, but the way that I'm working it is, I don't care how many people are involved. If you yeah. can get three people, four people, five people, twenty people, however many people you can chip in mm -hmm. to make that five hundred bucks, um, you donate five hundred dollars, and we'll make a death scene for you. Um, I can't exceed ten people in one death scene, though. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. To be an ally. <laughs> so, so if you get a, you get a, you get a group of people together that chip in five hundred bucks. Um, can, can, you donate that, then you you can get a death scene. You'll get it, a credit and everything in the film. If no I personally give you five hundred dollars, can you make Dominic's death scene from Death from Bukaki? Well, we actually one of the death scenes that we've uh, tabled, we talked about that um, potentially is going to be someone's going to be taking a shit on the toilet, and a zombie baby is going to come from the toilet and like stab them up the asshole. <laughs> See that's not all. <laughs> I just can imagine. So that is the death thing that we have cabled. Right I just can imagine Dominic in a circle so full of guys. The right fit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to go. That's how you want a zombie baby to take you out. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. If you're going to die by zombie baby, you might as well do it that way. <laughs> oh, I know. I wanted to ask you. You going to be down there for a Rock on the Range? Um, probably more than likely. I'm, I'm like, I don't, I haven't checked to see if they separated their days yet. Like the, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm definitely not getting a weekend pass, but okay. I like going to that just to kind of like, if there's one day where there's like four or five artists that I'd like to see, yeah. I'll probably hit up a field pass for the one day. <laughs> With Dom's money. <laughs> With Dom's money, I'll be like, "Hey, Dom, come on, come on, throw me on your list, man." You could have put a hot dog. Guy the, he's the guy with all the contacts here. <laughs> Actually, I, Dominic gets in Rock on the Range because of me. I'm the one who puts him in the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> That's good. So, what else you got going on, dude? So, far, like right now, it my the only focus that I have is to make sure that I can get this ten thousand dollars so we can get mm -hmm. these prizes and kind of get post-production um, completely funded. And I'm really hoping that, you know, we can overshoot the goal a little bit. Yeah. So I can, you know, everyone's worked for free on this entire production, and yeah. everyone's signed off to work for free. But, you know, I want to be able to say, I want to be able to give everybody a kickback. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I want to be able to mail all of our actors and all of our crew members a check for a little bit of cash just to, you know, thank them for putting in the time and the effort. Because, dude, this has been going on for three or four years now. So it's it's been a been a lot of work on everybody's part, mm -hmm. everybody's part. So that's 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 really my main focus. So how bad? But is... I'll be starting. I'll be starting my documentary here, probably June, July. Mm -hmm. I'll be starting pre production on my documentary. On yourself? You're doing one on you? No, it's going to be on a dude. You're gonna you're gonna get a <laughs> ride out of this. Uh, it's going to be on the uh, insane clown posse. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, nice. Oh, horrible. No, it's titled, those guys well, are... no, no, it's, 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 it's uh, hear, hear me out here. It's, yeah. it, it's titled why with a question mark. Mm -hmm. So why? And it's going to analyze the fans and the group and like, why, why do, why do people like this? Why, why are, are they so wh passionate why are about they, this? Why are they? So yeah, I, I like as a, as a human being, I can understand why people really enjoy certain bands and mm -hmm. I understand being a, a mega fan of certain bands, but why Insane Clown Posse? Yeah, because you're... There's something deeper there. You're a mega fan of Air Supply, aren't you? <laughs> Air Supply and Flogging Molly, yes. Yeah, well, the only, the only good thing about uh, uh, Insane Clown Posse is when they, when that Asian girl got her ass beat up on stage really Tequila bad. Tequila? Yeah. No, I like... And, you know, people write them off because they do make a joke of themselves. They are every bit as good as rappers and... Rhyming stuff is Feminem or anybody else that people say are awesome rappers. They they can rhyme the, the most ridiculous stuff and it's hilarious. Some most and of they, it. they put on a good show too. I've seen them live. Yeah, I fortunately. The, well, the main thing, the main thing that I respect is that they they were just a couple of guys that formed this group and they blew up because they 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 know the indie scene. They they're not corporate. They've done everything themselves. They're they are very DIY. And they formed their base, and they're very popular in the Midwest. And why are they popular? I don't know yet. <laughs> and that's going to be the goal of the documentary. I'm going to follow them for like two, three years and just kind of like do interviews and wow. figure everything out. But I'm still locking down my How um, are you? Uh, director of photography. I'm trying to lock down a couple guys who, will, who are willing to dedicate the time and effort to do this with me. So are you going to be able to take that kind of leave of absence from Applebee's? 
<laughs> yeah. it's it's like this this project is going to be quit your job worthy because i feel like this is going to have i think a lot of people in the united states at the very least will find an interest in this i think i think this is something that i'll be able to take to film festivals once you, it's completely done you gonna go to any of those um juggalo festivals they have i'm planning on going to the gathering next yeah. year i heard that's a good, <laughs> good time there it's good time there for everything i've seen and heard up the gathering next year but right now it's solely it's solely biker warrior babe and the zombie babies from hell nice. strictly that and so far so good we're doing really well on the indiegogo uh page uh, and on facebook lots of really good feedback but the support's been fantastic nice uh ryan just a couple more things we'll let you get back there to um to do what you're doing but hey i want, I want one more one more time how can people get a hold of the indigo thing and be a part of that um, Indiegogo, uh, the best way to find it, you could friend me on Facebook, um, personally, or you could go look up, uh, the Biker Warrior Babe versus the Zombie Babies from Hell on Facebook as well. The links are provided there. You could also go to Indiegogo.com, and I think it's Indiegogo.com slash Biker versus Zombie Babies. That's the link. It'll take you directly there. Uh, there's a, uh, I've got a promotional video up there kind of pitching the ideas to why we're trying to raise money, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, the obvious list of, you know, prizes for your contribution that you oh, have yeah. on there, which, like we had talked about earlier, um, you have the $500 level gets you uh, your own customized death scene, which we've got four of those remaining. Um, executive producer credits, we've got, we've got uh, buttons, posters, uh, shot glasses, um, Lots of lots of lots of pretty cool stuff, and then the first print of the DVD, which I think is always very important. It's going to be the first print. We're only going to make we're only going to make 400 copies of this specific DVD. Then we're going to change all the cover art and stuff and do a second edition later. But it's going to have all the bells and whistles with it uh, for the for for this specific launch from the Kickstarter can or not the Kickstarter, but the Indiegogo campaign. Mm -hmm. So. um... I also got the link up on our front page, too. God damn it. I had a good question. Go for it. I forgot. I know. That's why I jumped in. I figured you lost it. Oh, man. Wait, hold on. ADHD. Let's, let's backtrack. Can you repeat all that? We weren't, <laughs> we weren't recording anyways. It's <laughs> um, all good. The death scene, the $500. In a movie. The movie. The fuck me in the goat ass. I can't remember. Do you, you know, uh, will you be able to get that like on Netflix or anything like that when it comes out? That's. That's that's the goal. When we first started, I promised the actors and actresses that I would do everything I can to get it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix is being very picky about what they pick and choose at this point. Okay. You'd find that surprising, but it's it's the truth. I um, I don't believe that because I watched this movie the other day on Netflix called The Rig, and oh my god, it was yeah. fucking awful. Yeah, you go on po Popcorn yeah, Flix. Yeah. Popcorn Flix is really good for that. Popcorn. Yeah, flakes. no, there's 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 some bad movies on Netflix. Um, this is I'm I'm hoping this is going to be one that's going to stand out a little bit more. Um, but the distribution costs. I'm not I'm not going to mm -hmm. go direct to anybody. I'm going to go through third party, pay somebody else to take care of it and make sure that it happens for you. us. So that that's 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 the goal. It's making sure that it's locked in 100 percent confidence. I want I want everybody to be able to see it who wants to see it. Period. So. All all ten of them. <laughs> Two of them are in this room. <laughs> all, all, all ten people. <laughs> I'm looking forward people. to it. Yeah. Me, and, me and me and Domar, I thought Dave was going to ask how much does he have to pay you to not make the movie. <laughs> Dave is just anti us. You could throw me ten grand and I, I will not put it out nationally. Oh, I know what I want to <laughs> ask. What, what can I get for five hundred rupees? Rupees, rupees. Five hundred rupees. I'm not. I'm not. I am not sure what the conversion rate. On I that can. Is I can point. give you ten thousand. I can give you ten thousand baht, which is Thai money. But I got like five bots right here somewhere. <laughs> Time yeah, how much ten thousand bots? Is. I'm a Turkish millionaire, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I should actually probably bail real yep, quick. I got to get back into dinner. Sounds um, good. Any that's other questions? Dinner real rush. quick for me. <laughs> is your meal up? You got to deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> like, table yeah, my, wait, someone just table me. twelve. Like, oh, hey, Ryan, you got to go grab these meals. You got to bring them up to your your uh, your customers real quick. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Hey, man, you have yourself a good one here. We'll we'll keep in touch, man. We'll, 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 do, we'll do this again. Dude, that sounds awesome. Dominic, thank you so much for all your support. Oh, no Maximum problem. Threshold Radio, I fucking love you guys so much. Oh, thanks, and thank man. you so much for the phone call. i uh, really hoping that we make out on the positive on this thing. And Ooh, so far, so kinky. Far, looking really good. You want to make out, do you? <laughs> Does he have to Dude, shave we his... all, we're all going to make out. Does he have to shave his whisker biscuit? It'd be great. 
Oh, okay, man. Have yourself a good one. All right. Take it easy, guys. You too. Peace. Bye. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.